Hey, what's up? And welcome to my corner of the internet. So today we're talking about, listen, I, I will always tell you, I'm a fan of manwas. Manwas have been something I have loved since I was in high school and I discovered it. I, I think I was getting a little bit of bored of anime. I, I wanted a different telling because like, I don't know, maybe I needed something outside of my comfort zone and Manwa can be that. One thing I liked about Mom was, was they were not afraid to tell a story, have different ideas, and to try something new. Sometimes within the shonen rabbit hole or the anime and manga rabbit hole, it can be all the same copy and paste. But, you know, sometimes we get differences and I ended up finding solo leveling and its 12 episodes were worthwhile and wonderful. Seriously, solo leveling is a complete vibe and you should definitely watch it purely for the fact that it actually tells the story wonderfully, it adapted episodes faithfully, and it did justice. And I think that's most important when you adapt manwas into anime is following what makes it different and the whimsical and oftentimes fun nature of what manwas couldn't be and also the way they are inspired by and how they supersede a lot of their inspirations. With solo leveling, we have Jinwoo who is a bottom of the barrel hunter and he ends up being keen with his senses and getting a power up that changes his life forever and changes the lives of all those around him. Also, this is written by Chugong, I'm totally mispronouncing that, and also, rest in peace, the illustrator for this, I'm gonna put his name up, I don't even wanna mispronounce that. This story is wonderful. It's built on power-ups, sacrifices, confrontation and interesting enough the power-ups don't necessarily make me bored of the anime it makes it all the more interesting because as you get into the story of solo leveling i'm not going to spoil it the story is built upon sacrifices and the moments where our main character has to figure things out he has to be a lone wolf even though he has the power of necromancy and stuff like that and the story gets way deeper and I'm excited for it to get another season because it's a pretty straightforward story with its confrontations with a lot of the ways that this story gives us a new hurdle for our main character to deal with and maybe stomp. I mean, come on, the power fantasy of this anime is lovable to say the least. If you're not into the power fantasy, this may not be the anime for you, but it's totally lovable and wonderful. And you you just feel all good inside when that moment of sweet, sweet confrontation finally hits the fan. And what can I say? This anime was so well animated. The fight scenes, the moments where Jinwoo is learning, and also I love the disorienting nature of him catching his first body, dealing with the ads that come with going into dungeons and ripples. It's it's all so very interesting because he has this cognitive dissonance that happens in his mind because he's going from being weak to being able to get stronger and with that strength he finds himself more and more confused and trying to find the right path because he has now got this power and it grows with his hard work, with his anticipation, with his honesty about what this world is and i love that there's a very honest conversation about what this world is that he's a part of it's about those that have abilities those that are strong and those that are successful they win and sometimes others don't win and this world is even harsher to jinwoo now that he's becoming more and more powerful and 
he has to keep his wits about himself because very easily he could overestimate himself and end up in a bad situation or he could end up being betrayed or he could end up losing This, the story is very upfront and honest about how just because we're the main character and we're powering up does not mean you are safe from the dangers and we work our ways up. And that's what I think was the unde undisputed beauty about solo leveling. We went from level one to level 10 to level 20 and we kept going until we become, well, spoiler, gods. And that's what matters within this anime, how you grow and you deal with the growing pains of growth. <laughs> Along with some of the other lessons, solo leveling is about seeing how far you can go, seeing how sharp your blade can be, and seeing the possibilities of your hard work and doing it for others maybe even doing it for yourself just going forth and trying your best and the anime makes sure to hint at these things talks about these things talks about the impossibility of the world when you aren't given a chance to be better i don't know solo leveling felt like a rising grinds wet dream now i i don't mean that like stupidly i mean it more in a there is a system of growth that can happen for you if you give your best effort and you go out there and try and solo leveling seems to be that for at least in in a isekai-ish almost power fantasy way it, it made me feel like i should work harder and see how far i can go now this could all be me just looking at this the way I look at it, but this anime hit that for me. And I never stop thinking about what's possible when I give my best efforts and I apply the hours and time needed. And I even supersede that and see what happens. With all that being said, I wanted to share this with you. Please go support more Manwas. Manwas deserve the love and affection that anime has gotten for years and years and years. And there's a lot of great Manwas out there. And I can't wait for more and more of them to get animated because there's some great stories just waiting that have passed by or that need the attention that it deserves. With that all being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you so much. Take care and be well. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. Peace. Be easy. You know. <laughs>